Good evening, Twitch. How you doing? It's Friday night. Hope you guys have yourselves a good start to your weekend, and hope you have something awesome planned for the weekend. As for us, we're going to be playing a little bit more Splatoon 2, primarily because I spent all my money and I forgot to set everything up for For Honor. Like I said, this month, pretty much going to be very intermittent uh, with streaming. Like I tell you right now, next Friday, actually because of the Splatfest, it's actually just been announced. But it won't happen until uh, until Friday at 9 p.m., which will actually be apparently orange juice of no pulp or pulp. I would personally use no pulp at any time. Even then, when you even buy no pulp, there's pulp in the darn thing. But that's a side I'll probably pick if I get time to play it, which I honestly doubt, because my entire entire Saturday is pretty much taken up. But for now, though, I'm gonna go take a look and see what stages we have here to play. What's the news? You know, the single most important celebration of our culture? Spot oh, the Splatfest! I've never actually seen, seen this before. How do you like your orange juice? Pulp or no pulp? No contest. What kind of barbarian likes pulp in there? Or pulp me up, yo. Put <laughs> me on the pulpit. Because I'm the pulpitarian for life. Well, pulpified, I majored in pulpology at the University of Pulpsburg. Seriously, orange juice without pulp ain't even juice. It's orange water. Oh, this is nasty. You shouldn't have to floss my teeth after drinking something. Exactly. You sprinkle coffee grounds in your lattes too? If you can't appreciate orange OJ in its natural state, you don't deserve to drink it. If you want orange chunks in your mouth, just eat an orange. Exactly. You gotta ruin OJ for the rest of us. OJ with pulp is for indecisive cowards who can't make up their minds. People who don't like pulp are broken inside, and I don't trust them. <gasps> Look, we both said some things. All's fair in love in Splatfest. How do you like your OJ? Head over to Splatfest Terminal and pick a side. Also, I'm kind of surprised, like, they're just so concentrated to a day. Like, I would honestly expect more time for the Splatfests. Like, a week or something. But then again, even ARMS, they just have theirs... Well, even ARMS actually has their events longer. It literally runs from, like, Friday to Sunday. I'm surprised, and I'm actually surprised we can actually just register right now. Oh, why don't we go? You didn't join Team No Pulp. Mission failed. Yeah, well, for now. Pick a side. Well, I like my OJ with no pulp. Join! Enjoy your Splatfest tea, but you gotta return it after the fest. Sorry. What, did I get. Did I actually get a, a t shirt? Oh, I actually did get a Splatfest t-shirt. Aw. Oh. Well, that's cool. Wait, what's that? Hey, finally I actually see what the ability doubler. It doubles the effect of other gear abilities attached to this gear. Interesting. Well, for now I'm gonna stick with the, uh... My other clothes here. I wanna level them up. And get a little bit more money. Looks like our first game I'm gonna be playing. Look at this art. That is... That was really nice. It's really well done. So, uh, I got the Octo expansion. I think she, I think that player's wallet is crying. Speaking of wallet crying, I'm gonna jump jump on in and get some games in.
but I've had a good time. I, I really actually do enjoy playing the multiplayer in this game. Like, I actually do like the ranked more than anything else. I'm also glad after playing a little bit more For Honor that there clearly is an active player base. It's small, but it's more than enough because it's like 3,000 people. The only downside is now that I've actually... I was always playing against bots, but now that I'm actually playing up against people, I'm realizing there's a gigantic skill gap between people who actually really know how to play and people who don't, and I easily fall uh, within within the ladder. I don't know how to play the game at all. How the heck do we not? Yeah, okay. Actually impressed he was able to move that fast. God darn it. How are they wow, really already? Oh, come on. <laughs> I think I'm also getting to the point in this game where it's like I'm actually meeting people who know, clearly know how to play this game a little too well. We lost the tower. We took the tower. We lost the tower. Up. Uh, Okay. Ah, oh, he had a better gun. I don't know why I was in their range for splatter. Destroying <sighs> us. He I can't believe he was able to sit on the ball or sit on the tower with his ball and it counted. Oh well. Yeah, I'm getting to the definitely the point of this game when Ryan where it's like, okay, here's players who are probably better than you. I'm noticing that in all the ranked matches I'm playing now. Shame you like when you get so little from ranked. On the downsides. This was like you get a thousand regardless if you win or lose in a Splatfest. Or not Splatfest, but in a turf war. But you could just get more if you're actually decent at the game. If you play and win ranked matches. I know, I think I'm a little salty with For Honor, though, it's not... Just... I think that definitely is a game that is not understood by a lot of people, and I think that's the other thing that kind of bothers me about... I can't get people to play games... Not, not really... Well, yeah, I can't actually get people to play games with me, or... Or when they actually talk about games, they just kind of crap on them. And so it kind of sucks hearing like they're ripping on a game and you... oh. 
Nope, no, no. I'm just gonna leave. Have some missiles. <laughs> Come here, Octoling. I need to just super jump to you. Hopefully, I won't die. No! Thank goodness he saved me. Have some missiles. <laughs> Bob, you've killed your own teammate. How do you feel about it? I'm actually surprised we've been able to just keep this aggressive. More missiles! Wow, I've never seen that before. Hey, we won. <laughs> Someone else did the actual work. I'm actually surprised they really don't want you to lose rank in this game unless you really get a major lose streak. That's the only one thing I noticed. I've had seven specials. Wow. That's why I love these guns. I'll never get rid of them. They're easily some of my favorite weapons. And the only reason why I don't use the uh, sniper rifle, I'm terrible at aiming. But you give me some dual guns with a decent range and I'm happy. I honestly thought I was going to use the uh, splatter shot as my number one weapon when I play this game. That's where I got the, like, the idea of... Uh, Inklings with, uh, basically Splatoon mixed with Space Marine. Or, or Warhammer 40k. Like, it just works. Honestly. The more you think about it, the more they hold the splat, the way they hold the splatter shotgun, just imagine some power armor, and boom, you got yourself an awesome idea. Idea. But I doubt the actual Venn diagram of people who like Splatoon and people who like Warhammer 40k Enjoy your make stay. a good mix. Evie Koopa, thank you very much for the follow. Hope you enjoy your stay. I do need to find- I need to find a new- Actually, I probably actually- I think what I will do is I might actually get rid of the follow alert. I'm still looking through all the Armored Core audio files to see if I find a good, um... Like, resub and, um... What is it? A resub and a, uh, follower alert and such. This is way too long. There we go. Take the tower. Oh, come on. This is where I'm starting to notice I'm running to the players with tags for their clans and such. Definitely one thing I'm also noticing. There we go. 
that I'll get rid of them. Or not. Apparently they do want to take the tower. Actually, start. Never mind. Are you down with me? How you doing though, DB Koopa? How's your night going? I still disagree with you. On the whole Digimon thing. Unsplatted ground. It just means more missiles. Ah, darn it, I didn't get a third one. Hello. Who? Hey, I got him. <laughs> what do you know? Nope, nope, you leave that alone. Uh oh. oh. And I had a feeling that was going to happen. I think turned down and came back to the digi- That's exactly what I was saying. You are correct in your assumption. A lot of ground. And they also have the tower. That is unacceptable. And I'm out of- Oh, get out of here. <sighs> they only got one. Never mind, I got them all. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. There's the triple. I don't have any ammo. And I'm terrible at aiming. How's it going, Shyark? How are you doing? How are you guys doing tonight? How is, do you have any plan? Hopefully you guys have some plans for the weekend. I've already joined my side. It's no pulp. Can't imagine actually wanting to have pulp. And these guys are heading dangerously close to me. Uh huh. I think I'm just gonna die here, but that's fine. Hopefully I spot someone. Plus it doesn't matter, this person is actually gonna give me more missiles. Unless he keeps killing everyone, that's gonna be a problem. This is actually a pretty decent. This is actually a lot of fun. This is a good multiplayer game. And I've already ran out of ammo. I keep doing that. There's a problem of mine. How is this over time? I'm just gonna enjoy playing some ranked. Because I am terrible at Turf War. Also, I do have my favorite guns. Although, what are your favorite weapons if you play this game? Or if there's any games you've liked, uh, just saw it coming out of E3. I know a lot of people don't really get to watch the press conferences until later. Whoever's losing, they have the tower when the time is up, because it goes over time. Oh, okay. Well, that would explain a lot. I'm guessing you probably play this a lot, Shyark. I was th I I did try, at least for one time, to see if people in the Discord wanted to play, but... It was kind of a mixed experience, because the people I was playing with 
And they were fine to talk to, but the only thing they really talked about was Splatoon 2. Like, I'll be honest, ideally, if I could, it's like... Find, like, a game people would really want to play, but not care about performance or ranked. And I know that's actually very, that's actually really difficult to do. Tower. Fine. I need to use those missiles right about now. Or not. Alright, well, let's see. Can I get any more? No, I cannot. Fine, here. You're the lucky one. I should not be hitting that direction. Not as much as most people play this game quite a bit. Yeah, I've only been through the single player campaign. Although I'm confused, like I finally actually downloaded the Nintendo Online app, and it says I have like 97% complete uh, completion. And I'm a bit confused on that, honestly. And fire. I need to actually just put that on there. Or not. Yeah, now you know where to shoot. How did they all? Never mind. I'm just, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, the single player campaign. for me. It's gonna be an anchor. Be that anchor for everyone. And hopefully not get missiles. Have the missiles back. Everyone gets missiles. Actually, I had a good time going there. See, I just like being the anchor. I don't like getting on the tower myself when I play this. I just want people to super jump to me. And I'll be their rally point. That person's got. That person's got it out for me. An octo shot replica. Never seen that gun before. That's gonna cause a mess. Or not. I honestly expect to kill more people with those. Thank you. Just give me more. Give me more of those points. Are specials actually really that important? Or am I just firing these without actual any real. any real loss? I'd like to think they are, because, I mean, they restore your... <gasps> nope! Sorry, I'm out of here. All of them except for in control there. To be fair about the story thing, it says you have 191% stage clarity. 
Yeah, so I'm confused on that. I don't know if it just means by like the weapons or Sheldon's thing. Or not. Because, like, I know I did all the stages. I mean, I streamed them all, for God's sakes. Unless there's something else that I'm missing after, like, post-beating the game. Twenty-one kills, holy crap. Also, I think I like ranked more because because you can earn you have the potential to earn more money. Although I probably should be smart and actually stop scrubbing my gear. Like I just after last night's stream, I had so much money. It's like, well, I'm just going to scrub all my gear. Start over again. Probably Sheldon thing. He did use all the weapons in the first area. That makes sense. At least I hope it does. What do you guys think of E3 this year? It's kind of weird. Was it? People didn't like EA's conference, EA stock rises. People play, people enjoy it overall, with the exception of, like, people who grade E3 and such. Apparently, people, like, people who basically have a voice in the game industry, like if you're a journalist and such, really ragged on, uh... on, uh, E3 this year. I don't know why. Not like in the sense of being negative for negative. Oh, okay. Being negative for negative sake, but. And it could honestly be their honest opinion, but. It's weird knowing it's like, oh, the actual stock of companies went down because of E3. Hi! There was someone behind me the entire time. You didn't see all the E3 stuff I've seen, it's interesting. I think that's honestly a mixed ground. It's like people didn't see something to be fanatical about. I think that's the big thing. And the only thing I can think of, like, as why stock went down in most companies about E3 is because this was actually the first time of the year. Okay, I actually need to do this. This is one of the few times I actually need to. Go. Blow that back to orange. Really? That actually works. Well, what would you like to know about V3 Shyark? I mean, I watched it. I watched pretty much all of it. I think there are a lot of underground hits, though. That have a lot of potential that are just gonna get overlooked. It's the one time. Yeah. Oh. No. Ah. I think the one thing, honestly, that. Surprising is that Capcom and Konami didn't really get much coverage of like the stuff they're releasing. And they weren't really involved in any of the other conferences either. At least from what I've seen. It's actually just What the Ah darn it, someone's always behind me. How is the, how are they getting behind us? At this rate, we're gonna just lose this one. I only have a checkpoint. Oh. I 
keep... I shouldn't turn around like that. But oh, there's... there's three of them with dualies. Interesting. Wow, they really have the entire area scrubbed. Ooh. And I'm out of ink. Run away. A rock. How is she there? Having more people on there will actually help, but still. I'm gonna die here. Oh, and they jumped on the tower. I'm surprised you have to be on the tower. That's such a small area and so easy just to, uh, ink. There are some people who are just ridiculously good at this game. The only ones you've seen are EA, Microsoft, and Nintendo. Is that anything else? What you didn't see was a Devolver Digital. And they had... I think maybe... One, two, three, four... I think they had five games at their show. One was a little Metroidvania. Another one was, uh... Oh god, it was Banana something. Like, Devolver had, honestly, basically tried to go with, like, we're ridiculous and over-the-top E3 press conference, but... You can't really strike the same thunder twice with the same amount of shock value. <clears throat> That was honestly the problem with the Devolver Digital press conference. But hey, we're getting Metal Wolf Chaos. And I can't complain, because that's a good... That was that was a From Software game. And if it's anything, at least... If, it anything, if it's half as good as the Armored Core games from that time, I'll be happy. PlayStation's conference was honestly very strange. Because it had a lot of... Uh, moments of intermission because they literally had to move the audience because they teased they led with um they led they led with the last of us 2 and that in itself was honestly kind of an awkward trailer because it went from oh nope like maybe they actually will I not killing them? What to say? Wait a minute. Oop. What killed me? Oh, hey. But after they finished moving everyone to the actual stage, they had some interesting titles. What was it like uh, Ghosts of? What was it called? Ghost of... I forgot what it was called. Basically, it kind of felt like a Breath of the Wild... Slash... 
samurai game, but it's very hard to sell like a game that's based in feudal Japan. As well as I think it left over. Nope. Just be the anchor, get more ink, launch more missiles. That's where I have my fun. Someone else there. Please kill that person. Thank you. I'd be very upset if I actually if that was actually a thing. All right, I gotta get it. So many octolings meeting there and What? No, but Tony's conference was nice. Sorry, I was in the zone there. I think it could have been... I think they actually had a lot to offer, but it was just very... You just had to wait for everything. And I think that was honestly the big problem. Where the heck are they? Are they... Did they all die? I think they all died. They all died. There you go. That's some missiles. I wonder what the A rank is like for all these modes. I did, I finally got one that rank up into the A class. Although I think there's like an X rank now in ranked. Or it might be lead. I'm trying to think here. What did Sony else have? Sony had Neo 2. That was one of their big that was one of their big ones. I think that confused a lot of people. Death Stranding. Didn't really show anything of substance. At least in terms of gameplay. But... It's still just as weird as it originally is planned to be. X is ranked, League has no ranking like that. Okay. Oh, that's good to know. I think what else Sony had. Like, honestly, I like Nintendo's. Microsoft, I think it was... It was good because... It was basically saying, it's like, we're making an investment in game companies, and we're willing to take them on. And currently between Microsoft and EA, I would probably want Dauncey to be owned by Microsoft rather than EA. Run out of things just when I need it. I took the tower? Really? You think so? But you. Ah. Uh. This is 
is why I prefer being an anchor. I'm dead. There was no way I was dead on that one. Where's the tower? Oh crap, they have it. This up. Really underestimate the power of his, of missiles or specials in this game. I've noticed like nobody is ever farming for their specials. It's always just um, a lot of people who go for the kills, and that's understandable. Have some missiles. Have some missiles. Really? Oh. Ah, of course. Got a word about communities acclaimed friends. Thank you, Savior, for the host. Always appreciate it. How are you doing tonight? Hopefully your stream went well. Playing a little bit more Splatoon tonight. I just like it. It's enjoyable. Oh, their team also does a really good job of using their uh, their specials. I, I don't know why I turned around. I'm gonna get some more missiles here. This will only take a second. And I like how I killed one of them, and yet they still got the tower. How do you guys actually design your characters in this game? Am I like playing... Am I doing what's right or is there like no real... Like optimal build? Oh, that was cool. Took out two of them. Also, I just realized they just... What? That's not good. I think they can get that all there with just two people. There we go. Oh. We can get ahead of everything. Ah, oh, they... Oh, we've taken the lead. We won. <laughs> it's like, I thought we took care of them all. See, that's the... Those are the matches I'm expecting. God, 
Look at that. Kill count. And a rank up. Very nice. See, I like multiplayer games, but the downside is I can never find a steady group of people to play with. I think that's the biggest problem in this day and age, is that it's easy to play, pick, play with uh, randoms and such, but actually finding, like, a dedicated group that are willing to either play on your schedule or have a similar schedule is just really difficult to do. Or just sometimes a person's skill level could be so massive that some people don't want to play with that person. Which honestly also kind of sucks. I, I experienced that pop I probably experienced that way too much. It's like, here, out of the few games I actually play, I'm actually decent at this. Uh, nobody really wants to play. No. <laughs> of course, the reality is the people who are actually hardcore on a game. Like, For Honor. For Honor is a very polarizing game. Because it's a tale of two games because people are more than likely to play the 4v4 and hate the game. But if you take the approach of For Honor as a fighting game, you actually realize it's actually really well done. But the reason why people don't really enjoy the, um, the game is because they're usually playing 4v4. Really? Oh, fine, you deserve to die. Ah, oh, come on, get off. Come on, where's the spawn point? I know there's more of you. I'm sorry, that level 88 probably carried us a little too much. Seriously, how can you, like, I can, actually, you know what, I can understand how someone could actually play this game way too much. That's a big jump from B class, uh, rank B to rank A in levels. That's a massive gap. That was an absurd gap, actually. But I thought E3 this year was actually good. Like, a lot of people who write about games of Fonsi are either writing their ideologies, and you're seeing that in articles now, which is really dumb, but I don't think people actually really understand if you're, if you're just like a, an average consumer, you don't actually see it, but if you actually really look at the industry or the people who work in the industry, and I'm not saying, like, actually, no, follow, just simply even following their Twitter accounts actually might give you an even a glimpse of their attitudes and such. And the same thing why, you know, people aren't really enjoying a lot of journalists and stuff on social media. And this is a weird thing for me to actually say, but it's honestly kind of truthful. They mainly act like jerks. That That's really, honestly, the long and short of it. They act like jerks. Whoop! Ah, oh, darn, there's no way to get out of that. I wish it was a better way to say it, but honestly, the way they treat a average people and stuff online, they're just jerks about it. It's not what I need. Oh, I see you. And still too late. Give me that. 
that fight. And I'm not going to win that one either. This is a, probably a bad idea. This is a bad idea. That was a bad idea and I shouldn't have done it. Yeah. I was looking for someone to super jump to because this is ridiculous. From all that. Between a splashdown and Tenta missiles, I'm not getting away from anything. Yeah, okay, A rank, I'll say this much, you really gotta buckle down and focus. How the heck is she there? There we are. There we are. a lemming here. There we go, that's what I needed. I needed a good set of missiles. What? I thought that killed him! You really gotta focus because there's some people who will just be trolls and hate that. In this game? I haven't found that yet. I've found people who will just say okay. And you know, that's understandable. I mean, I pretty much think of the de age demographic. And I see that as. Okay. Oh, at least I got one in return. I mean, I, just, I, I honestly understand if they can't play, or if they had to walk away and such. Like, I don't really think ill of people who do that. Like, if you're AFK, I'd rather have people focus on their real lives. I'm not so interested in... I, I, you know, it depends if I really care about winning. Yeah. Nope, they won that one. They did a good job. Oh no, we won. I thought... no. I guess I was wrong. I thought they had the lead. I will say, this game does have a net progression. Uh, a net positive rank, uh, rank gain system. Because... I'm familiar with a lot of games of ranked modes, and... There are some that are more, that are more net negative. Or they put way too much focus on singular matches. Like, uh, League of Legends, honestly, is one of the probably the most volatile and probably... It's weird. Like, a game like that... It's a very polarizing game. Because there are basically incorrect builds and correct builds in that game. And it's not even going to, like, meta builds or anything like that. But for the ranked progression it got to the point where it's like one match basically 
would determine if you would progress or fall behind. Exposure, thank you very much for the auto host. Hopefully you enjoyed your time playing. Actually, I know you didn't enjoy your time playing For Honor. You said the game sucks. <laughs> I'm not even, I'm not even gonna mince words about that. You hated you hated For Honor. You absolutely hated For Honor. Uh, but I hope you had a good time playing Magic the Gathering, since that seems to be your you know your one of your awesome things to do. So I'm gonna focus on that. Some missiles. Oh my god, they're all here. Oh my, how is he not dead? I had no ammo. Right? Something tells me I had no ammo. Get him, pack of missiles here. Give me those missiles. And... What? Oh, that was a robbery. Just not too many rolls. Too many. Uh, nope. That was random. <laughs> I had no hope. Being behind me. It's not my own. I haven't even figured out a good build for this game, honestly. Lost the lead, that's fine. Just keep them on their toes. Oh no. I have no ammo, and I'm not wasting my missiles. Well, I lose a lot, honestly, if I die. Yeah, I lose over 50% of my charge from that. I don't know, I just... I appreciate more games let me think tactically. And... also get rushed. Some... I don't know, I like For Honor. I think it's actually a really good fighting game. I think the 4v4 is where things... Like, that's where it's its own game and its own beast. And I think that's honestly part of the problem is that a lot of people who were playing For Honor, they wanted a good 4v4 game. And what they got was a game with a 4v4 mode, weapon stats on that, so that made combat even more imbalanced. And then add to that, you have all of ranked mode. Literally everyone. There are so many people with brushes this time around. There are way too many with brushes. And I walked into someone else's missiles and I didn't even see it. I'm, I'm so proud of myself. Not even a reason. Over all of this. Two down. Oh, come on, where did he come from? I can't even get past the first checkpoint here. that up. <sighs> that is side. So close. Ah, I'm 
not gonna make that one. I have no... Yeah, I have no hope on that one. I didn't- I only killed seven people, jeez, that's nothing. Like, I know for the short term, Nintendo and PC are going to be fine. Like, you will get a lot of value from it. Like, there was one game at the end of, uh, E3 that I saw that was actually really good, which was, um, The Messenger. And I kinda did what, um... What is it? Evoland. That was the RPG. There's actually two of them. It's actually the RPG that started monochrome and then slowly advanced into a PlayStation 1 game. It was a really short one. Those They did also make an Everland 2. Never got around to playing that, though. But I heard it was much, much longer, so it wasn't like... It still tries to be a parody, but then it's like, oh no, we're gonna try and actually make it a game. <clears throat> but, The Messenger, you actually end up playing a character that transcends both between 8-bit gameplay, or 8-bit graphics, and 16-bit graphics. And it's also supposed to reflect, uh, like, time. Not in the sense of, like, bullet time or anything like that, like, actual time travel. Like, oh, it's now this many years in the future. It's all 16-bit. Go! Come on. Look at those missiles. The Mad more missiles. So what the heck is... Is this Rainmaker? This is no, this can't be Rainmaker. Oh, it's Clam Battle. That explains it all. Over here. I have no ammo. Although I will grab these. Grab you, grab you, and that makes it all. Oh no! Well, at least I know I gotta go over there and get my. Oh, I'm not even gonna get my football in time. Should probably ink our own land. I think this is actually a pretty good map. I don't know how it's good how it's good for a clam battle, but or clam blitz. I think that's the proper name for it. Oh, how do you How did I lose to him on that one? Oh he had an end zap, that explains it. Downside of the of the dualies, they're actually really low on uh well, that doesn't count. Uh high fire rate, but low damage. Very pitiful damage. I don't think anyone's been able to actually make some ground here. Uh, nope. Ah, they I gotta learn to just ditch the football in this game mode. Either side is going to relent. Uh-oh. Oh. What do you want to know? Also, I gotta learn how to share the... Hello. Look at that. 
We have three footballs here, people. Not have a problem. Getting our stuff here. Unless that happens. Nope, 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 nope. <sighs> ah, Nobody dies from Splashdown anymore. I was so close. I'm gonna get that. I should've just went for it. I should've just thrown the football. I would have actually made it too. Really good at this. I'm gonna get overtime from this. that. We could all die and nobody grabs the football. I think this is honestly the one I'm weakest at. Is Clam Blitz. Actually, no, there's still one more. I've never seen... It's what... It's weird. It's like, that's the one I never actually get to play. I can't remember which one it is. Although I'm doing terrible at this, apparently, because I'm almost ready to actually lose my rank on this. One time when you're playing Rainmaker and one of my teammates took the Rainmaker and took it back to our spawn. Yeah, that's pretty rough, actually. I mean, they only get it for a minute. Uh, that's I know it's a long time, but still. I mean, at least they can only hang on to it physically for a minute. Not, it, they can still totally intentionally throw a match, but still, it's not impossible. Really? I only got two for that? I thought I would have gotten the, uh, the other one. Give me all your clams. Or not, because I totally just fell off the edge there. Oh, yeah. Come here. You. Oh, I lost to another person with custom sculptures. That explains it. I think my strategy of getting supers as much as possible doesn't really work on this game mode, and it doesn't help when I run out of ammo. And we're all dead. Good, they have it. Or not, because they totally... There you go, now they have it.
Oh! Ah, uh, the one downside I really hate about that is the moment I run out of ammo, you can't dodge roll anymore. That's one of the most annoying things in this game. And I know it's exclusive only to the dualies, and it probably actually had a lot of gameplay if you actually allowed uh, everyone to dodge roll. Stay away. Trading. Or he could just totally say, forget you. He's following me. He is literally following me. I guess she is. What? I saw that. Ooh, we broke the barrier. <laughs> Just for good measure. Have some more clams. We must feed the other enemy. Or if we feed them, they will be satisfied. And their urge to kill and feed off the flesh of inklings will be sated. I am not going to win against this Quinta, uh, Quinta Vias player, am I? I don't even have those. I won away anyway. Did they get a football? Ah, I guess they didn't. Well, at least if I rank up, I'll actually not have to worry about losing. Hey, finally got the last abilities. Actually, I should probably should actually level up that uh, Splatfest shirt. I wonder if it costs less to actually scrub that shirt. I still don't know what would be a good... Like, it takes a lot of gameplay to actually get the ability slots in this game. I noticed that, so it kind of makes sense why there's a lot of level 50 plus uh, players in this game. I kind of wish it wasn't such a huge time sink, though. Like, a lot of games. Like, that's the one thing I'll probably criticize For Honor and Rainbow Six Siege, is... They're good games. They really are. But the probably one thing I just don't like... ...is the amount of grind there actually is. And they do reward you for actually going through the grind. They really do. But man... ...it's a brutal grind. Not want to wish on anyone. Let's clam. Have some. Have a football. Oh crap. Here. And fire. 
Fires the missiles! Oh, they actually broke the barrier, nice. Ah, he had a splat splatter shot, Junior. Probably the one thing that's actually they're really good at. If you're really up close to your enemy, splash shot Junior and the end zaps will just wreck you. Have some missiles. Don't you see you? No. I don't even know why you're here. You don't even have a football. He has a football, or had a football. For that, I'm taking you. Really? I just want to get the missile, thank you. No, I have stuff. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna run. No, ah, oh, why do you have such terrible short range throwing? That was such a waste of a football. I'm not meant to be an athlete. Oh. No, you don't! Take you with me. No. No. What? Oh, he missed. Actually kind of funny. Arms away. Does that look? Burn the boy, come back here. I throw climb at you. Have a fun job. Did he lose the football? Oh, he missed. That would be a good explanation. What happened? He missed. Oh, I'm dead. Or that actually saved my armor. Now, nah, but the one thing I don't I criticize Rainbow Six Siege and For Honor and stuff is that if you really want to unlock and it's a pro and con, like they have basically the game is you can play the game and you can unlock everything. But the downside of it is, you have to play the game an absurd amount. Like, even if you do buy into the game, you're not getting everything 
You know, you're not, you, like, all the content isn't just there and open for you and stuff. They sell season pass, passes and stuff, and that's probably the biggest criticism I have towards Ubisoft is... A lot more games these days, and I think it's something that's honestly an anathema of the game industry. A lot of games are just... You need to play this game every single day if you want to actually get any sense of progression or unlock the latest characters, and that's honestly not fun. And I know you don't have to do it. But I feel like, honestly, the... Like, the friendly consumer practices is... And if you... It's like, it's the mix, and it'll honestly probably get you the best of both worlds. Why was there a clan there? Um... Would be to... Have the game be designed... Saying, okay, you can... You know, you buy the game, you're gonna get all of the content for... You know, for the season. But you can have a free-to-play version. Such a terrible shot here. What's going on here? Thank you. That's the plan. I'm gonna go and ink all of this. Where's he? Reclaim? He? Wow, those people are actually really good at reclaiming the football. I have no, no ink whatsoever. Here. It's not gonna live. The broke our berry. What? Actually, surprising. Oh, my ball. Or can you actually shoot that? Hi there, how you going? Oh! I forgot to jump. I don't know what Quinta Vis wants me to do here, but okay. Part of me forgot that auto expansion was out. Yep, it's out. Everyone can be an Octo Kid now. Oh, that sucked, actually. How are you doing, Newton? Yeah, I'm probably not gonna. I can't really afford to buy the Octo expansion right now. It's not my budget. I think the people who will probably buy it and enjoy it the most are people who are really invested in, like, knowing the, uh, fate of the Squid Sisters. Not the Squid Sisters, but off the hook. Oh, hello. I'm gonna use them. The clams. I regret nothing. I've thrown my clams. You shall be well fed tonight. Thinking about the DLC. There's a lot of really good games out there that I probably should make more time to actually play. No! Oh, thank goodness. They... Everyone's terrible at throwing footballs. Everyone's terrible at throwing footballs. Did we win or lose? No, we lost. I was about to say, it's like, did we win that or lose that? I'm just going all this up. That was a good job. They did a great job, actually. I need to use my center more. Ow! 
How the? He had a blaster, didn't he? No, he had a splatter skill. Yep, now we're gonna, now we're losing. Oh, we are losing a lot. Xenoblade's 2, like, I still honestly wish I played Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and Xenoblade X. It's called Xenoblade X, right? <sighs> right at the end. A great job right there at the end. Ah, oh, darn it. The overtime for this mode is kind of, feels honestly kind of weird. Like, I understand why they would have it, just to kind of give everyone a fair shot. Oh, we were down a person. That explains everything. Hello. Oh there was Xenoblade 1, Xenoblade X, and Xenoblade 2. Okay. Because I'll be honest, like, I look at the gameplay change from Xenoblade to Xenoblade 2, and it looks nice, honestly. It looks interesting, in terms of gameplay. But at the same time, it's... Like, it's a drastic art style change. It makes me wonder... Not so much on a chronological basis, but, like, how they're actually connected. Because you went from, like... Actually, it makes me wonder how all the games are actually connected to each other, if they actually are. Or, you know, it's like, is Xenoblade basically pulling a Final Fantasy, where every universe is basically different? Or is it a series that actually has some sort of connection to each other? Like, that's the thing I think of, because I look at, what is it, um... Who's the character in Smash? Choke, that's it. And then you move to a bunch of characters who are physically weapons in Xenoblade 2. And then Xenoblade X, the one thing I definitely remember about that is, oh, our entire, the, the planet Earth blew up. That's real. <sighs> getting lag again. We're getting the physical version for the DLC. Well, you'll find out shortly. This is the downside of, of the game. I am holding left, and I have actually turned done a 180 now. I cannot, for the life of me, be trusted with this football. I need another player here. That person knew way too much. I have a football. I can't actually do anything. Because I am getting way, way too much controller interference, and my controller is not responding. Come on, I need you to aim up game. I think, honestly, it's gonna be a decent size. Like, if it's a physical card, how much do those flashcards actually hold? That's actually, honestly, my question. I'm gonna guess. Yep. I won. I think I actually might find one plan short. One plan short. I need a clam. Give me that clam! you. Go for it. There you go. Thank you for the clams.
Like, how much are those Switch cards in terms of size? I'm actually curious. Because... When it comes to DLC, it makes, like... At least now, uh, it brings the question, it's like, okay, for Switch games now, are you just gonna buy the DLC on a cart, or buy an actual physical version? Which is an interesting concept in itself. You... You two... I got his ball. Because it makes me question, like, if I actually do get Xenoblade 2. That's a big if. I'll be honest, I kind of wish I bought more... I had more RPGs. Ah, oh, I'd turn into a football at the last second. Break that barrier at least. That's some missiles. Like DLC physical version won't have. Yeah, that's like I said, that's the weird thing about it. It's like, how big is the game? And it's like, okay, should I just buy the cart itself? Because if it's like a, if it can be a standalone version, that's somewhat of a good thing. Everyone's dying. And it's hilarious. I think once those two footballs, yep, once the footballs despawn. Like, unless they make it so that you need to own the game to play the DLC, which, honestly, would really suck considering... It wouldn't make sense, honestly. To actually have that set up if they were going to sell a physical version. But there's just honestly so many games coming out, especially in the short term. Like that's the like I think that's honestly should be the actual takeaway for E3 this year is long term. We should expect a lot of projects being revealed in E3 2019, but for the short term, for 2019 and 2018, you should expect a, you know, a decent amount of games that you will probably enjoy on whatever console or PC that you play on. Like, there are still really good games out there that are coming out, and if you... If honestly, it's like... It's like was it like the past i'd say two maybe even three e3s have honestly been very solid like there's always been at least that one game that people could actually go like actually want to buy like i'd say mine right now is probably damon x machina metal wolf chaos super smash brothers ultimate what else i honestly do still do wish that for honor would actually do some sort of battle royale i think that actually would be interesting like, even if they made it limited to 40 players. You don't even, you know, obviously you need to keep things even. But having a specific number of players that balances out to 2 by... What is it? What is it? 2, 4, and, um... Yeah, by 2, 4, and of course 1. I think, honestly, a Battle Royale 
would be really interesting. Saren at the end. Yeah. Uh, Valkyria Chronicles Zero. Of course, thank you very much for reminding me that Sega is porting a lot of games. Well, not not a lot, but still, they actually are porting games to the PC. And honestly, I'll say this, like, the Sega ports have actually been really decent. What? Another person! start using super jump a lot more in this game. Like I keep forgetting you can super jump pretty much any time. Oh come on, the last second he got the he got the inject. Actually a really good use of an ultimate. Oh please splat him! Hamster ball. I'm out of ink. I'm out of ink. Rude. How are they keep getting all of these footballs? Gong show this game has. Oh no, I'm out of ink. I'll forget this. I don't want... I don't want clams. I hate clams. You can have my clams. Everyone can have my clams. Oh, God! Okay. Of course, I just gave him a football. Yeah, we're just... we totally lost this one. <laughs> These guys have just done an excellent job. How are they still... Man, these guys know what they're doing. A world release and with a dub. Word of our community's acclaimed spreads. Hey, how's it going? Thank you very much for the host, Dan the Enigma. How are you guys doing tonight? Hopefully you guys have some plans. We are just playing some Splatoon 2, and this is a match, unfortunately, we're losing. Let's see who's here. Let's see. Wayward, Laid One Rex, DB Koopa, Tobias, McJohnson, Dan, CMF, Chaotic, Houndoom. That's actually a nice name. Jonas McKay, Dark and Night, Darkest Tempest, Suichimo, Xenophel, CMF. Thank you very much for the follow, uh, piano. Eh, a lot of people. Enjoy your stay. Just give me one second here. We're actually we can actually get this football. It'll actually keep us in overtime, or not.
Let's take a look here. Horse Dorsch. Cool guy. The Darkest Tempest. Willing Mess. I think that's all of them. Now, now. Don't worry. Let's not go, let's not call the social mob here. No, I played terribly that match. That's, that's in, I can easily admit I played terrible this match. This is fiction. We are enjoying fiction. Don't Enjoy worry about it. your stay. These are not real characters. Or these are not actual people. Okay, well, we'll see how he acts here, and if he wants to be a jerk, then I will take appropriate actions. Do not worry. What do you put first on your BLT? Uh, I'll tell you the only thing I put on BLT. I put on the bacon, and that's it. It's bread and bacon. There you go. We have a sandwich. Lettuce and tomatoes do have, have no place. Why is McDonald's so good at cookies? I've never eaten a McDonald's cookie, and I don't plan to... Actually, I won't be able to. A McDonald's is actually closing down in my area. What are you guys doing tonight? Hopefully you've been enjoying Dan's stream, and I'm curious, what games are you looking forward to at E3? What is my favorite anime? Hmm. Quite a few, honestly. Actually, you know what, I'll just take a look here. Uh, let's see here. Oh My Goddess is a solid one, I've always enjoyed that. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't own a lot of them. Uh, Tenchi Muyo, always enjoyed that. Shadow Skill is actually a really solid one as well. Blue Seed? I, I came from the days of when E3, when anime was but droplets. And you barely saw anything. A lot of people are really, a lot of Kingdom Hearts 3, guys. I'll be honest, I can't follow the story. I think a lot of people are playing it just because it's Disney properties. Although I will say, this time around, they really made the Disney properties look amazing. Like, just like in the movies. And I think that's one of the big things. Cowboy Bebop, that's a solid one. One second here. Just kind of make sure people are alive. And this person is going to get the... Actually going to make a goal here. Oh! Well, that's a thing. And I had no ammo. Have yourself a good night, Tobias. Although you could do what a lot of people do, and including myself, actually, you just reduce the resolution. Like, there's a lot of options that let you actually control the resolution. There's never enough specials. You can always throw specials. Actually, there's a person here. I see the auto bomb. No! Stay away from me! You're on par. Well, I've only played this game for like a couple of weeks, so... Or not a couple of weeks. Wait, has it actually been two weeks? And he has a football. And they got it. Nice job. What the... There's someone with clams up there. Alright, this is gonna be ridiculous. I always play a more defensive game than I do offense when I play this. Oh, no problem, Lunic. Like I said, congratulations on graduating. 
You really should feel proud about that. And like I said, from here on out, you're in charge of your own business. Like, you really are in charge of your own business from here on out. Ah, oh, that's just... Oh, just bad timing. No, the best defense is a good offense. That's the best. That's the thing. That's the same. Not the other way around. You want to actually force... The whole point of strategy... Uh, the whole point of that saying is basically you want to dictate combat on your terms. I really could use that ink armor a lot sooner. Could really use this one here. He does have a football. Nope. Oh. Ah. Down with the ship. Thank you very much, Lunik, for the bits. You really find a lot of coverage. And their barriers back up. And someone already took the football. Oh, a lot of clams out on the field here. And there's someone actually physically here. That person is going to actually, he just missed, just barely. And I am actually going to be out of ink. Take care of that Aku Ling. Alright, this is actually getting ridiculous. Oh. Yours. Well, uh, right now I'm liking these custom duelies. Or well, not custom duelies, but the, um... I like the Tetra missiles right now the most. I wish I had one more clam. Alright, that works. No, I've been using the Tetra Missiles. No, I like playing, like, the Anchor for my team. Because if people actually know how to use Super Jump, unlike myself, they'll jump to me and then they can just get back into the match immediately. Just give me one second here. I think if anything, like I said, I said this earlier, I think the games I'm interested in most from E3 is... What's it? Game in X Machina, Valkyria Chronicles 4, Smash... I think there was another one, actually, I just mentioned. Oh no, I said about For Honor, but I wish For Honor actually just had a uh, Battle Royale mode. Like, those are honestly the games I would like to see. But I've honestly been enjoying this game quite a bit, for what time I've been able to play with it. You're usually putting up beacons. Oh yeah, the sen- do you mean the sensors? The Blitzcrank of John's <laughs> uh, Truth be told, to, uh, DB Koopa, I was terrible at uh, Blitzcrank. I think here. It's been a while since I've actually... Twisted Fate was actually my main character in uh, when I played League of Legends. He was actually the character I always played. Used to. Long time ago. Back in beta and I think up to Season 3, actually. I think it was Season 3. But yes, I played. Uh, yeah, you're done. I've played a lot of games. Oh, hello. I have no problem doing taking advantage of. And the bucket kills us all. 
Oh, the beacons to jump to. Okay. I haven't really seen many people use that, actually. York was actually... York was actually always okay. He was very rough at the start, though. Like, early on, he was terrible as a character. Just because AP ratios, and they tried to make him something he really wasn't. And there's someone behind us. There is a lot of people behind us. There, they're all there. Oh, well, that just means. Oh no, I can't do anything because they're there. Oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> One good turn deserves another. Twitch main. Yeah, Twitch was actually was actually solid back in the day. Although I think a lot of people just weren't really great with him. This, oh, we are just trading back and forth here. That's what this is. Uh-oh. Alistair. Support Alistair. As if there's any other way to play Alistair. At least from when I used to play. I used to. No, you don't get to do that. Wow, that's really well done by Little Lazen. Have yourself a good night, Playful Piano. Hope you have yourself a great weekend. Oh, we are just... This is... Yeah, we've lost this one. Or not. No, nope, you might. Bye. What is this? Hello. What? Oh, that was actually really well done. He threw the football. Oh, I better clean up here. Oh, he missed. Okay, that explains it. He missed because we got their barrier. Have missiles. Have lots of missiles. Let's take this. Sorry, this is one of those moments where you just kind of have to focus. Hi there. I'm leaving now. That little Asian player is really good at this game. Ah, darn it, I got greedy from that one. They've changed- I'm sure they've changed a lot with MOBAs, but honestly, MOBAs- The reason why I don't really play MOBAs anymore is that the way they're designed is very- It's not really well designed. And the reason why I say they're not really well designed is because... When you're- We're actually gonna lose this. We're actually going to lose this. Hundred fifty. There's a hundred fifty characters now in League of Legends. Wow. Now, the, honestly, the biggest problem with it is that it's the same problem every single MOBA suffers from. The problem with MOBAs is that they become so item dependent and build dependent that if you don't build a certain way, you're basically just undercutting the entire performance of your team, and it honestly just feels like to the point where you're just 
trolling a team, and it just makes people extremely upset. And it's understandable why. It really is, because nobody likes going into a 20-minute match, or even a 45-minute match, or even what I'm used to. Back when I played League of Legends, the longest match I had was over two hours. And half the battle is basically just determined by which AP or AD or AP carry got crits. That was honestly one of the biggest things. And at the core of it, it still has that same problem. If they have a crit, if they allow the enemy, you know, your enemies to crit, okay, who actually gets the biggest amount of damage? I think, what was it? Uh, Tyranid was probably one of the big issues. Um, back in the, uh, back in the day, just because he would just destroy the other team. It's like, oh, well, he can't be killed, but... Oh, get out of here. Oh, yeah, I better get out of here. That's why I quit, found some fun AP bar builds, someone got pissy, and someone got a deck. That's the other problem, is basically you have... And that's, a, that's an important lesson, is like, always be, wear, be wary of the social mob. And it's very easy just to get people to turn on you immediately. And it doesn't allow for much experimentation or anything. So if you get stuck with a, uh... It's stuck with a build. I mean, you're not gonna enjoy it. I don't even know why I did that. Catch those. And I ran into that. Right now, high experimentation is with the new rooms. It's always gonna, like, they'll always change it, but at the core of it, though, it's still an item dependent game. Like, I think that's honestly the biggest problem. You have enemies that just rely so heavily on getting crits. And that people aren't going to enjoy themselves. It's like, oh, I didn't lose because they performed a better strategy. They probably lost because, well... Really? Eh, I'm not really good at, at third-person shooters. Oh, hello. Now I'm dead. You do all random, all mid. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think we're just getting to a point where it's like a lot of people don't really have a lot of confidence in playing certain multiplayer games because they want to be able, they, they have to know that they're gonna be able to play with people. And if they can't, then they're not gonna bother. Have those. Take my clams, please. Oh. They have anti-crit items now. There's less about learning more than yelling Santa. Saying Bard was the only support. Like I said, if it comes too team dependent, you just get you get just as much volatility. And I just don't want to deal with Trying to, trying to actually, you know, rely on an entire team of people. And that's like honestly the biggest issue I have with a lot of multiplayer games. How are, why are you here? You don't even have a football. How that? Leaving all these perfectly good clams everywhere. I'm terrible at shooting. I'm dead. How am I alive? No, wait. I might be alive. I'm actually alive. Nope. I don't know 
how I'm alive. Have some fun. Build them hyper and you'll go further. Like I said, I don't know. It's been way too long since I played League of Legends. Like, I even stopped playing Heroes of the Storm for pretty much the same reason. Like, those games just got me angry. For no reason. Like, having to rely... I like playing with people, but when it gets like you have to rely on them way too much, or you run into a situation that it's... Okay, we've gotten to the end of the game, but now it's all based on crits. Not exactly... How are they still alive? Crits don't mean a win anymore. Yeah, they used to mean a lot. And they still do in most MOBAs, and honestly, that's one of the biggest issues. It's also probably the same reason I don't really play... Well, I don't play Battle Royales as much, because I learned I'm terrible at aiming. And a lot of the more popular Battle Royale games like Fortnite really comes down to jumping around and hoping you land a shotgun hit. Here's the thing, it, it really comes down to everyone just doing their doing their part at the right moment, at the right time. And even if you're one second off in one of those games, everything falls apart. And then the only thing left is like, well, now I'm sitting on my hands for 30 seconds. I'm probably going to be angry and blame another player for their performance, or lack thereof. And that's not good, honestly. It really isn't. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why people like Battle Royales is because all it really is is just a deathmatch and you get one life. And so you just play, you just end up dying and it's like, okay, just go on, move on to the next match. Nothing really to be mad about. Or you just end up playing with uh, friends. Have my clans, please. I think there was a person behind me. There was. I think I just got saved because of the, uh... Get the football. Ah, oh, he gets the football. No, they actually do have a lot of creativity. Like, they've gone through enough people who works at that company to bring in their new ideas and such, and, and new designs and such. Uh, no offense, but lore in League of Legends is kind of dead. It's kind of been dead for a long time. going. Actually, the impressive part. No. Oh, that's a dead end. Nope. They d I think they're at a point with Riot being so successful, and even that, the, even though they're owned by Tencent now, is that I mean they kind of been o they've always been owned by Tencent. Three. Man, you can bust a move with. Uh... Nope. 
All right, no offense, D.D. Koopa, but I really... I'm not playing League of Legends anymore, man. No offense, but you can keep talking about this. I can only keep... I can only keep talking about League of Legends for so long, man. Honestly. I knew... Like, I knew Rioters. I played the game with Rioters. I taught people how... how taught Rioters how to play their actual name characters. And... There's only so much... I can talk about... About League of Legends here. Like, no offense, man. Like, I know a lot of people are very polarized by Riot. Both, even Rioters, have a lot of negative things to say about their own company. But, there, there's a limit. And there are some people who will defend League of Legends to the death, no matter what, and I totally just screw them up. No, there's a lot of people who honestly rely on their careers playing one game. It's either League of Legends, or Fortnite, or PUBG, and it's honestly kind of sad that it's like that. I'm out of ammo. I'm dead. Honestly, if you know you should go to sleep, and it's honestly the biggest problem with a lot of people, they don't know when to turn off the electronics. You really have to. You have to turn off the electronics, and you have to actually go, like, quite literally just go to sleep. Just lay in bed, and not expose yourself to any sort of technology. That's one of the biggest issues, is what a lot of people, or like, one of the biggest mistakes people do. <sighs> it sucks when people just keep taking the, um... Keep taking the clams. No reason. There's a few that play. Yeah, no, I like. There are too many people who are reliant on one game. That's the biggest issue. There's too many people who are reliant on one single game to build their career off, and then the moment they switch, they're gone. They just leave. I know a lot of YouTubers who have felt that, like they built their careers up or had a spike in their career because they rode whatever was the most popular game at the time, usually like Overwatch. There's still people who are just so dependent on Overwatch. And they'll probably only still play Overwatch until they truly get tired of it. And even if you do try to actually get, you know, try and actually get ahead, like Fortnite is still very much in its prime. People aren't gonna stop playing Fortnite because it's free. They can play it on mobile, they can play it now on the Switch, and they can play it on anything else. You ride whatever gives you a good time? Yeah. I usually try to make sure it's like, you know what, am I gonna have a good time? Is it a game I want to try out? Is it a game I want to play? And like Splatoon has honestly proven itself to be very solid. Still shows I'm honestly kind of weak at, at uh... At shooting shooter games, and that's the thing I'm honestly really tired of. Is like there's too many, there's too much of a focus lately on shooting on shooting games, like first person shooters or third person shooters. Like it really feels like it's at a point of oversaturation, and nobody's really doing anything else that's creative in another way, or like some other genre that's taking a spike, like. I think it's been, like, that's clearly, like, clearly people want to play shooter games again. And that's been on the rise for quite some time. But I'm more of a question of, like, what's Enjoy next? It's like we had a stay. huge, what was it, RTS phase, we're now back into an, uh, a shooter phase. It makes me wonder, it's like, well, what are people going to want to enjoy playing next? Because it'll honestly now have to include mobile. But well, that's actually going to do for me tonight. I'm going to stop streaming here right now. But let me take a look here. Dark Tempest, thank you very much for the follow. If you guys actually do want to watch my exploits and stuff, primarily my focus uh, for this year is actually beating games. Um, beating games, 
specifically RPGs. One RPG a month I will actually play through and beat. Uh, this month, we've already beaten it. It was... Oh my god, I forgot what the heck RPG I was playing. There's been a lot that's been going on in my media life right now. But for now, though, let me see and take a look who else is streaming right now. Speaking of... Speaking of Fortnite, actually. <laughs> and one person I've completely have disagreed with watching his... It's actually sad. I honestly was excited about E3. And I had to stop watching his grading videos just simply because he was cynical. But I, I actually do follow him on Twitch and he actually is playing it right now. It is Pro Jared. He's playing Fortnite. And as always, though, if you are interested in watching a lot of shows I used to watch... As a kid, like cartoon shows, like the Super Mario Brothers cartoon show, the Sonic cartoon show, uh, Sonic Sat AM, I believe is actually what's properly known as, uh, to most people, Highlander and such. There's Con TV. There are 24/7 uh, streaming Twitch channel, and they stream a lot of very old cartoons and drama shows back in the 1990s and 1980s. I don't know what they're streaming right now. I think it's Stingray, but I've never watched that series. But, as always, though, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll probably... I actually might just stream For Honor. Uh, tomorrow night, actually. That'll probably be a good... Oh, that's actually... I want to actually try out and see if I can actually get decent at For Honor again. And I want to show, like, why it can be a good game. Because I watched Phoenix Exposure play it. He hated it. He had a terrible time. But I want to show, like, what the potential of that game is and why it's actually fun. Because you can actually download the game for free right now. Uh, as a starter edition. So they kind of did the same thing as they did with Rainbow Six Siege. You were able to download Rainbow Six Siege Starter Edition and then just unlock all of the game's content that way. But, as always though, thank you very much for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. But until then, take care.